Hello everyone, so how's it going? So welcome back to my splice demo. So if you've been following my channel, uh, a couple of days ago I released uh, a NURBS curve demo where basically I've been implementing the a NURBS curve, a basic NURBS curve in splice and then I actually started to using it so the first application I did which is in the parallel frame transport which was really useful uh, and then the second application is basically to build like a cartoony arm all inside one node okay so here I have a basic setup it's not even a setup okay who am I kidding just three bones okay and I have those bones coming in inside the node computing everything and just shooting out matrices for those bad guys here you see which right now I'm drawing but they are at the output basically of the node so let's actually see the node and let's see how it works Oops. sorry wrong shortcut here we go so you have the splice node I have three matrices input and four matrices out okay so the three input matrices are the first one is the the shoulder what can be the shoulder of the arm the second one is the, this midpoint and the third one is the elbow okay so how do I use those matrices well I use the first one and the last one to interpolate the rotation to extract the twist and then interpolate the rotation sorry and I use the middle one to draw a curve to, to interpolate control points for a curve so in this case I just have three control points so I'm drawing a um, a degree to NURBS curve, okay, and then I compute as many uh, twist joint in there as as many basically I have set in my number of outputs. If I say compute ten, it's gonna shoot out ten in, ten joints basically spaced and twist properly. So let's actually see how the node works. So first of all, uh, I have the twist working. So you see. I'm actually extracting the twist so if I'm not doing anything twist related I'm not going to twist so you see the twist behave quite nicely so I can rotate like that I get twist nice and properly working well so I only extract the twist and this works really well okay and since it's based on quaternions it's going to flip at under an 80 degree okay so you see here I twist more than 180 and it flipped so you see here if you put it like that this angle here from this normal here y and this there there are more than 180 degrees so it flipped okay and that's a limitation that quaternion has but there is a workaround to that so basically if you if instead interpolate it from the start to the end you also interpolate uh, uh, for the middle points you can actually add more degree of rotation so if you have like 10 control points you can have like 1800 degree like crazy okay so other than that I also have the, the ability to attach those to a curve so so I can actually create a bendy arm and of course you're, you don't have to be attached to those joints because you can actually move it around well you can move around the joint itself but actually I'm not plugging in the bones matrices you can see they are not plugged they are, there is actually a constraint going to a locator so if I, which is actually hidden now if I grab the locator and move it around you see I can I can offset and do all the crazy stuff I want from the arm and uh, let's grab again the Splice now because there is just one more option basically I want to show you. Of course, I can turn off the the debug because the OpenGL drawing you see just debug option. Okay, when the the rig is done, basically you don't need that to see that anymore because you're going to see the mesh deforming right away. That's just to to keep to let me see if I did everything right. And those normals, let's call it normals. Those are not really normals that I'm drawing. Those is the up axis, the y axis of the matrices, which has been computed on the on the on the curve and oriented correctly. If I want to, I can change that to the tangent. Actually, we can even try to do that. 
if I can find in the code where I do that. And so before doing that, I just want to show you these small options. Basically, it's match the start or the end. So basically, by checking that, I can tell, okay, I want the first and the last joint in the curve to basically match on the on the curve, okay? So doing that, let's take it off. Everything works fine. That's so cool. So now, uh, let's actually see if I can change the axis I'm drawing. Let's see if I can find that. Oops. Okay, yeah, editor, let's actually do that. Okay, compute only for now. That's not what I'm looking for. Here we go. Here is where I'm drawing. Set the line with draw line. Okay. Plus normal. Where I'm, am I extracting normal? Here we go. So I'm grabbing the second row. No, actually, the the X of the uh, the row. So if I change this, the Y, so if I change that to X, I should actually draw the tangent. Here we go. Exactly. So I'm drawing the the X axis, which is aimed based on the tangent of the of the matrices. And of course, if I change that to C, I will have the perpendicular one of the matrix. So it should be pointing out. Here we go. Exactly. Okay, so let's change that back to Y really quick. Recompile, and here we go. So that's it. Uh, I'm, I will have to, to clean up the code. Still, a lot of coding to do, but that's the a first nice step towards some a character basically based on splice. Okay, so that's it for now, guys. Bye bye.